the following is a tutorial on this look this is the um katrina look first i'm going to use an eyeliner and um this is a liquid eyeliner felt eyeliner and i'm just gonna do a circle and i'm gonna start the um on both eyes this um, eyeliner is from LA splash which is really good as waterproof so I just I needed a template just to do my eyes and that's what it is okay next I'm gonna use the makeup forever the flash palette and this is a cream uh, palette um, and this is what I'm going to use to start my makeup and I'm going to use a spatula and I'm going to start with the black color and what I'm doing is I'm starting from the outside of uh, the circle and I'm just trying to make sure I got a smaller liner um, I tried with a few liners this is one from MAC and um, you could just use any detail liner to make sure um, that you're inside the line. If you make a mistake, then always use a wipe and wipe you know the areas that you don't that you don't want. And this is uh, these are cream um, cream cream colors. Now I'm going to use a red and I'm going to do the red on the inside of my eye. And again, I'm going to do the bottom and I'm going to fill in the inside of my eye with that. And what I did is I started from the outer part of my eye just to make sure that um, that I was covering um, just any part of the skin that's showing. And I'm cleaning it. I have a little um, piece of paper and I'm cleaning. And again, I'm just trying to make sure the lines look kind of sharp. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Visart, and this is the editorial color, and I'm gonna use that red one right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal because that's a cream, and if you leave it on by itself, then uh, the product is gonna move. So I use the um, the Visart uh, editorial, and that's the red, and it's pure, just it's pure pigment, but it's uh, powder. Here I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Born to Run. And I'm gonna use uh, the black color, and I'm gonna do that in order to seal the the black. And that's what I'm doing there. And like I said, with this, if you make a mistake, if you go out of the line, you can always get a makeup wipe and just wipe it. Not a big deal. And like I said, I'm with the Katrina, you have so many colors you can do. I don't know if you can see that I have that. Right, I made a mistake right there. And again, you just take a wipe and wipe it. Okay, now I'm gonna use a yellow from the um, from the Makeup Forever, and that's a cream. And I'm gonna make little circles to go outside of uh, outside of the black. And um, like I said I. I'm trying to make more circles and you just go all around it and 
And you're going to do the same thing that you did on the other eye. And I just decided not to do on the inside of my eye so it wouldn't close. Um, because my face is not that big, so I don't have, um, I didn't have enough space in the middle of my, my, my nose. So, okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm using the Vizart, again, the powders, and I'm going to seal each little circle. So the product doesn't move. And I'm cleaning it on a piece of uh, paper on the side because it's touching it's touching the cream so I don't want the cream to interfere with my my powders so I'm cleaning it on a little piece of paper and again this is a uh, NYX I found this uh, eyeliner and it's a white one but because this is a liquid and I'm doing cream it would not go it I tried it and I could kind of didn't like um, certain areas it wouldn't work on because of cream and liquid it just doesn't it doesn't do anything you see so some areas are like I'm trying to um, I could have done that first and then you know do the the yellow circles but um, I had to change my tactics so right there I got a smaller brush and this is the um, Makeup Forever, and that's a cream, which is much better. But that brush was not, it was, a, that's like a little angle brush. And I was looking for something like a detail brush, a smaller detail brush. So later on in my video, I just changed um, the pen, I, I changed it to a different um, liner. There it is, and I'm trying to do that side. And like I said, next time I'm gonna do the white. There it is, I'm doing a different, um, that's more like a detail one, and it's, it was easier to do. I think you can use also like a water, type of paint um, and what I'm doing now is I'm detailing between the yellow and the black so it can give more emphasis on the um, in between so and like I said this is just I didn't know what I was gonna do so I just came with I wanted that color I just wanted, um, I was wearing a red outfit, so. Next, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever, the uh, Flash Palette, and I'm gonna use the black in order to do my nose. So, um, that's a cream, and that's what I'm doing my nose with. Next, I'm gonna use um, some foundation, just whatever foundation, and I'm, I'm using some of the white from the Makeup Forever, uh, and I'm mixing it, and I'm making it a lighter skin or lighter face. I'm not using white like a lot of people do. I left it like a lighter color, so um, it's just a, a, a little different. So you can still see that it's lighter than my, my, my face, but I didn't want to put it white, white. So I just got um, the. I used the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, and then I mixed it with the white, um, with the white um, Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and I put a little bit of the white since the Makeup Forever um, is very pigmented. Just a little bit goes a long way. And what I did there was, what I'm doing there is I am um, detailing just to make sure I'm going in between the, the yellow. I'm doing my nose. Just detail on the rest of my face. Those are areas that are harder to do. I'm just looking in the mirror just to make sure that I'm covering everything.
Next, I'm just gonna do my lips and I decided to do red lips. And this is the YSL um, Couture lipstick and this is like uh, tatouage, I think it's called. Uh, it's a red color and it dries really matte, so I needed something matte. Because on top of that, I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put black lines. And again, I'm using the Makeup Forever lash palette, and I'm doing um, I'm doing the black color. And what I'm doing there, I'm going through my cheekbone, and um, I'm just making a long line. And I'm just gonna make kind of like a little circle there. take the detail brush because it was a lot thinner. Now put in more and make it even darker. There it is. And what I'm doing now is with this brush that I had before, I'm just going and putting some underneath the line and I'm going to drag it down. And then I'm getting another brush and I'm just going to diffuse that line and I'm just checking to make sure it looks kind of even which it is okay and here I decided to go back and um, do the the lines around my mouth my lips I don't think that I put there on the um, the steps, but behind the lines on the sides on my cheeks, after I diffused the black, I went and got a, a brown uh, eyeshadow, and I diffused it even with the brown eyeshadow to give it even more, um, um, to make it more um, graded, like a graded effect. And there I'm putting the lines again around the sides of my my mouth and the sides of my um of my mouth you know you can see from the side but um okay there I'm doing like a little rose you can just put whatever you want there I just decided to do to do a rose and I'm using the same liquid eyeliner there I'm using the same liquid eyeliner and I'm doing um, I'm gonna do a heart which I could have went in and um, and did like a stencil and then the line but I just kind of hand drew it again I'm putting I'm using the same color from the lipstick I'm using it all for the flower there it is and because that dries really really matte so I just decided to do that instead of using the Makeup Forever. Just decided to do that one. There you go. And I'm going to use the heart. The liquid liner again. I'm just gonna do some, just some um, little designs. Just anything you want there. Some people put like um, spider webs there, or just whatever you want to put there. I just decided to do that. That was it. I didn't want it to be too busy to have too much on my face. And again, uh, the bottom of the flower, I got the makeup ever green. And then there, I'm doing my mascara. And I have waterproof mascara. You can put uh, fake lashes. I'm not into fake lashes, so I just decided to put a lot of mascara there. And this is something from Milk Makeup, which is the gel liner. This is really amazing. It's waterproof and it stays. So I decided to do that. 
is to close my eye. And this is what it looks like. I just put a rose on the side, put my hair on the side. I have, um, that's a cross, a big cross and chandelier earrings. And thank you for watching.